very good morning welcome to the second tech vlog of the year if you haven't seen the first one you can click the link in the description to find it today it's a wednesday and i am working from home and i have quite a few things to tell you about so let me prepare my desk and let's get to it Okay, first things first, what am I working on today? If you take a look at the screen, you can actually see some C Sharp and some Swagger right there. I am working on the back end. I've added a few APIs yesterday that I'm currently testing. After they are working fine, I'm gonna hook them up to the component on the front end. That's one thing I love about working on both sides, the front and the back, because you don't really have to fight with no one. There's no, you're pushing the wrong payload to this and whatnot. You actually fix it yourself. There's no one to blame. So that, that's another cool thing on working on both stacks. Uh, but that's what I'm doing for today, testing my APIs now and also hooking them up to the front end. After that, I'm going to move to another section of the component that I'm building. Hopefully it's going to be done by today because I have stand up to report on tomorrow and I did promise something. So I need to get that one done and I'm going to take you through my day. Remember, we still have concept of the week. And weirdly enough, I have something for the intermediates and the seniors because I've always had something for the juniors and graduate. Today, I have something for the seniors. If that sounds interesting, stay around. I'm not even sure if I have seniors in this channel. Let's see if I do. Thing I don't like about working from home because you you really get carried away and you work twice as much if not three times as much like from the office around 12 I know I'm gonna go out for lunch but when I'm here I lose track of time look I even forgot that I was recording but nonetheless let's have something to eat and let me tell you something that I said I will tell you today I don't know why I'm so obsessed with watermelon but this thing is fire I did say I have something for the seniors, right, and the intermediate. So, if you are an exceptional, keyword, exceptional intermediate developer for focusing on uh, c sharp.net and React, preferably if you are full stack or if you are just focusing on one stack, maybe you are a full, you are a backend developer using the .net, HP.net, Microsoft, Azure, and all of that, hit me up and I can refer you because they are recruiting intermediate uh, developers and uh, senior developers but keyword guys you need to be exceptional intermediate or senior they are very picky so if i also don't see that you make it through i will not refer you because it's a referral it's more like i'm just pulling your chances i'm not guaranteeing you a job i'm just gonna refer you that's what i have for the seniors so do find my email or my instagram and hit me up and we will talk always watch your back back, back. Obviously, watermelon is not enough to sustain me, especially when I'm dealing with something like this. So, while we wait for me to go out because it's currently raining, I'm gonna tell you this week's concept of the week. And I'm very much disappointed that no one held me accountable that I didn't actually tell you the concept of the week last week when I just said I will tell you in a few minutes. Mm -mm. The repository design pattern in a nutshell is a design pattern that uh, separates the logic of data retrieval from a storage like a database and the rest of the application. So it basically provides you with an abstraction layer that will separate between the application itself and the data access code, making it easier to maintain and also to test. So in the context of my uh, tech stack, right, I'm using SQL Entity Framework Core. Entity Framework Core is an ORM, Object Relational Mapping Framework, that is actually used to access the database or have interaction with the database. So I will have an uh, for a class that is saloon, right? So for a table for saloons or a class that is saloon, I will have an SQL saloon repository and have my methods there. But that's not the best approach. First of all, you must have an interface which will define the methods that you're going to have in your Class. So I'll create the interface and define my methods, create rate update.
page and then I go to my class inherit the interface so I can implement those methods because I just defined them there I did not implement them after that you actually now have this DP context class which is a very important class in entity framework core because it is the one going to the database and having access to all of that so you inject it through dependency injection a term that I'm gonna talk about later on after injecting it and then now you implement all those members and now you have a method for creating a saloon and ready for getting a saloon updating a saloon and then you can now reuse this everywhere you want to create a saloon you don't need now to actually every every time db context dot db context dot insert now you just reference your interface you just inject now your interface dependency injection again which is also registered and then now you can actually create a saloon do whatever without repeating yourself so it also follows the dry principle if you had to change your orm and maybe let's say now you have a different data storage like mongo you will create now a different mongo saloon repository which will also still abide by the interface that you created because the methods are still going to do the same thing it's just the implementation that's going to change so that will give you a uh, better testing because now you can just test your uh, create rate updates separately and the rest of your applications uh, logic separately as well so that gives you uh, better security uh, better testing better maintainability and it's also good practice follows the dry principle not dry is in my lips like don't repeat yourself so in a nutshell that's what uh, repository design patterns are i hope that does make sense if you're a backend developer if you did not get it leave a link in the description in the comments and tell me what did i miss or what if i explained it better or not i'll try to show up some clips on the screen as i try to explain i hope i, I will because editing is tearing yeah and that's enough talking i'm hungry let's go get some food <laughs>